Thank you. You may know our next guest from the Sacramento Monarchs. Oh, I don't know, maybe from winning an Olympic gold medal or two. Or from mm. your Auburn Tigers. Uh, this morning, Ruthie Bolton is here to talk about her new ESPN film. It's called Mighty Ruthie. Hello, Ruthie hey, Bolton. How y'all doing? Good Great. to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Okay, so how did this project come together? Because you and I actually talked about this a while back, mm -hmm. and you were saying, yes. thinking about doing a movie about your life and stuff. So how did this come together? Well, actually, um, I was asked about a year ago to share my story at an ESPN Summit. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And it, it was going to be on domestic violence. And so they asked me to talk about it, and so I talked about it. And so one of the representatives from ESPN said, I think your story needs to be told on a national arena. Mm. So she pushed for about six months to try to get ESPN and SEC to partner to do it. Uh -huh. And finally they decided they wanted to, uh, to, uh, to, to do my story. Some of the background on your story, which I, I find just mind boggling, how many children are in your family? Just 20. Just 20? 20. Just 12, 20. 12 girls, 8 boys. And which number are you in that? 16. Sweet 16. Sweet 16. <laughs> Sweet 16. Oh, wow. I mean, we're going to find out a lot. Obviously, when people go in, they see uh, Mighty Ruthie, and they'll find out more about your, your, your upbringing. And what was it like, though, for you growing up where you grew up and then eventually being able to, to play basketball in a major program like Auburn? What was that whole journey like for you? It was, you know, growing up in a family of 20 was... It was awesome, except that if it was a little bit of ice cream, no one could eat it. <laughs> if it was enough, everybody could eat it. But, uh, but my mom and dad gave us a great foundation. We were all very close, and I learned a lot about life skills and how to, the lesson of adjustment, mm -hmm. and learned about you know uh, getting along with each other. And and it was it was really a great foundation to help me in, in, in my journey in basketball. My dad talked talked to, talked to us about a positive attitude, yeah. and that was stuck with me the most, the PMA. Yeah, mm -hmm. positive mental attitude, there you go. Yes. Now, there were three things you did in an interview with, uh, with another publication. You had three takeaways from your story and from your experience, and I want to give them right now, and you kind of fill them in, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, first one, you say, forgiving is crucial. Mm -hmm. how, uh, what does that mean for you, and how long did it take you to get to that point? You know, I forgave... I could forgive others fast, but it was tough for me to forgive myself. Okay. And I think forgiveness, and I'm glad that it designed, that God designed it that way, that you have to forgive in order to be free. And so forgiveness is, is crucial. It's in order to, to spray your wings. And no matter what has happened to you, you got to learn how to just let it go. And there's a process, of course, but that's right. the only way you can start to move on and grow. And you say control your mindset, mm -hmm. which is easier said than done. Yeah, it's, it's your attitude, your mindset. How When I got up this morning, whether it was raining, whether it was snowing, how my day would determine how my mindset. If I tell if I tell myself I'm gonna have a bad day, I'm gonna have a bad yeah, day. Uh -huh. But my mindset is like, no matter what happened, whether it rained, I'm gonna dance in the rain. Mm. There you go. And mm. the last thing you say is embrace adversity. Yes, I think that sometimes we miss our blessings because sometimes we try to run away from the challenges. And there's a quote that I love. It says that we miss out on opportunities because they come in work clothes. Mm. And so sometimes you gotta face the music. Sometimes you gotta look at it. And salute it yeah. and say, you know what, I'm here, I'm going to learn from my mistakes, I'm going to embrace this, and I'm just going to move forward, and I'm going to press on. And I think not being a shy, and don't let adversity beat you down, but you know what, I'm going to take it, I'm going to take it by the horns, and I'm going to do what I need to do. That's what you've been doing. Yep. Absolutely for sure. Thank you so much for coming in, sharing some of your story. And remember, folks will have a chance to see the entire story of Mighty Ruthie. I don't know how they squished it into an hour. An hour, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think we need to expand it to a whole week. Ruthie, thank you for joining us. You know I love you. I love, I love you so. Too, One you year, doing? I just want to go back home and do Thanksgiving with your family. I want to see that. We, we, we have a road trip. We have a chair for you. We have, well, yeah, we have a seat for you. We're, I, I give you my chair. You're going to be at the kids' table, is what you're saying. You're going to be at the card table over there in the corner with the kids, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Ruthie, good to Thanks. see you. Thank Thanks, you so much. Thank you. And as we mentioned, it airs on Thursday on ESPN2 and again on Sunday on ESP, ESPN. And if you miss it, it will be on my DVR forever. Yeah, exactly. It will never get erased. Coming up after the break, going to check back in with the good